Hi everyone, welcome to the 12th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will cover how to concatenate data frames. Concatenating and merging helps in machine learning when we merge, concatenate the train and test data sets and do all the necessary pre-processing steps on a single data set like imputation, label encoding, feature scaling, one-hot encoding and feature engineering. So let's start. So as we can see, we have to import our the necessary, the very basic libraries for our computation, which is pandas and numpy, we'll execute this, and then we'll create our data set. So uh, we, we will create two data frames here, df1 and df2, and the uh, columns of the data frames are id, name, gender, and country. So we'll execute the data frame. Now a data frame, the structure is created. Just type, so it is empty now, we, will, we need to load the data. So we'll execute this. So now if we press df1, so our data frame is loaded with some data. Similar is the case with the df2 data set, data frame will execute this and df2 will be created now. So this is how like uh, we have simply created our data frame and loaded the data to the data frames. Now what we'll do, so we will concatenate. So how do we concatenate? Suppose we want to create a resultant uh, data set df3 which will have the concatenation the resultant data set of df1 and df2 so we'll give dpd dot concat df1 comma df2 comma and make sure this is inside the square uh, brackets comma axis is equal to zero if we give axis is equal to zero then everything will be like just simply merge one after the other like this so if we give df3 here you can see right right from 1004 here 1002 uh, 1003 the first four record belongs to the first table and the second four record belongs to the second table Now, what if we create a new data set and we give pd dot concat df1 comma df2 comma axis equals to 1. Okay. So what df4 is created now we'll test we'll check what is the content of df4 data set so you can see it is not uh, appended at the uh, bottom it is like one uh, like adjacently it is being added the same id name gender column and the, you can see the same uh, if we shift We do like this. Okay, now you can see right ID, name, gender, country, everything is like one after the other. Now, what happened if we want to append a record to the existing data frame? Like we have our data set 3 df3 now we want to add some other record how we do that suppose our new record which we the content of new record is is equal to pt dot series id is 301 comma name is gender is male countries Australia okay and then in this case it will be followed by index equals to what is our index first of all we have the ID column followed by the name column name then we have the gender followed by the country
to execute this. So the new record is created. So the new record, the value of this is this. Now, if you want to append it to our data set DF3, so what is the how to append it? So and we will create our resultant data set DF5 is equal to DF3 dot and append and then we'll give the new record comma so now if you check what is df5 we have so you can see that this the last row is being added so in this way we can do uh, we can concatenate the different data set and uh, we can also append a, a new record to the data set so thanks a lot for doing this so if you feel this video is helpful please comment and press the like button and also subscribe to this channel also if you want me to cover any other topic please post in the comment section